Problem solving with Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are a useful way to solve logic puzzles where there are different sets, different groups, and maybe some overlap between the sets. In this example, there are 30 houses on a street if, and 16 of these houses have a burglar alarm, 22 have a security door, and 10 have both a burglar alarm and a security door. Our first step is to place this information on a Venn diagram. Well, we can draw a Venn diagram. There are two categories here, burglar alarm and security door, two sets. I will call them B for burglar alarm and S for security door. U is the big rectangle and everything that's inside it. Um, and now we can start going through these facts and trying to understand what they mean. For example, writing them in set notation. For example, there are 30 houses on the street. This is all of the houses. Some have a burglar alarm, some have a security door, some don't have anything. And in total, the universe is 30. The number of elements in the universe is 30. There are 30 houses that we're considering. Next, this fact says that 16 of the houses have a burglar alarm. So that is this circle here, the whole circle. Maybe some of the 16 have a security door as well. Maybe some only have a burglar alarm. But all of those count towards that 16 total. The number of elements in B is 16. 22 houses have a security door. So, similar, the, the number of elements in S is 22. And finally, 10 houses have both a burglar alarm and a security door. So, that's this region here. The uh, houses that are in the burglar alarm set and also in the security door set. We can write it like this. This means burglar alarm intersection security door. Intersection means the ones that are in both categories. Okay, well now we can start putting numbers in. There are 30 houses in total, so I can put a 30 there. Um, the intersection is 10, so I can put a 10 there. To find out how many are in this section that have a burglar alarm, but no security door, well, the number in this burglar alarm section is 16 minus the 10 here gives six in this category. What about in the security door section here that don't have a burglar alarm? We know that there are 22 in the whole S circle. So how many are in this shaded area? 22, take away the 10 in the middle, gives 12. Finally, I can figure out how many are on the outside. There are 30 in total, minus the 6 here, minus the 10 here, minus the 12 there. So, there are only 2 that have nothing at all. We can start answering the questions. Um, how many houses on the street have a burglar alarm, but not a security door? So that is this category here. Uh, these are the ones that are in the burglar alarm set, but not in the security door set. And we've already figured out that it's six, six houses. How many have either a burglar alarm or a security door? And we'll assume that means either burglar or security or both. So that's six plus 10 plus 12, which is 28 houses. When you see the word or in maths, or usually means one or the other or both. Good, so this is one way of solving worded problems using Venn diagrams. Again, get lots of practice and ask me for help if you need it. Bye everyone.